well, well, well. Look who's here. No, he's already going out deep. I picked up a couple coins, 60s, 70s around here. But I did just pick up this Degenerate Club Royale bottle. And look at the bottom of it, 1937. So we may have some stuff pushed in. I wasn't expecting that. It's a nice old soda bottle. We got the fog moving in here. All of a sudden, visibility went down to next to nothing. I'm gonna lose Maddie soon over there. If it goes any further out. But it is about 50 degrees today. The water temp is probably 35, 38. Here we got something that looks like it's a little, a little more period piece. Looks like an old key. Maybe a locker key or something like that. That's a nice piece. Got a nice fog rolling in. And I pulled up a broken piece of a pipe. Well, this one surprised me. Haven't been getting anything in this area. It's beautiful though. Temperature right, fog moved in. You can't even see Maddie anymore. He has disappeared. But look at that. Fog is in. And this was just chasing a higher signal. A low signal popped in, scooped it. And it's tiny. Look at the size, it almost fall through the scoop. It would fall through. Oh, I just saved this one. This one was tough to save. Look at this thing. Beautiful. I don't even want to fuss with it. I'm going to drop it. But that's a nice finish to 2022. Let's see if we can find his brothers and sisters. Look at this guy hanging out down there. I don't know if it's old, but it looks like a bottle. And clear as day, I'm gonna grab that sucker real quick. Show it to Maddie, the bottle expert. See what he thinks. Come on, get in the scoop. Ah, filled up with sand. It's a nice bottle, but it's a twist off. And I can't see any dates on it. It's filled with sand. There we go. Oh, I it. Uh, I'll take it and show it to Maddie. See what he says. Skim off the top. I hope we get it. Instead of pushing it around. All right, no sound. All right. Gotta be on the scooper. Dump it. 
And we got something in there. Oh, I don't know what it is though. Oh, it's an old it's a quarter. I can see a little bit of the Wow, it's just destroyed. It's got all this all the outside metal's been taken off and all you have is the inside, whatever they make it of. Oh yeah, yeah. That's funny. an interesting find. I still got Maddie's bottle in that basket. But this looks old. Don't quite know what for. Obviously some kind of lever to tighten and loosen. But that's heavy brass. Pretty cool. Definitely has got to have some age. Here's a vintage reel that Paul found the other day, but it came out really nice after he cleaned it. I want to give a quick shout out to Kathy and Tim of Team Lynch Beach Metal Detecting. They had a great 1500 subscriber giveaway, and I happen to be one of their winners. In that giveaway, not only did I get two of the cool stickers around, but in this very pretty Christmas type box, they gave out, I gotta say, probably one of my favorite giveaways of all time. A Merry Christmas Santa Claus silver coin. Look at this thing. That they put in a really cool case. It's one ounce of silver. They put in a cool case that now can be made into a Christmas ornament. That is just a phenomenal, phenomenal giveaway. So I want to thank them. They have their YouTube channel, channel Team Lynch Beach Metal Detecting, which I'll leave a link to. And uh, thanks, guys, Kathy and Tim, with a really, really cool card that came along with it. And I'm a little nervous because my daughter's Christmas present has been sitting there staring at me. Sort of. I swear I think her eyes moved. It's a creepy thing. Thanks again, Kathy and Tim. Well, here it is. First hunt of the new year 2023. And initially, it certainly doesn't feel like it because the temperature is already about 53 degrees on a Sunday morning with the tide going out. It is miraculous out. Let's have something more stuff. Well, being an unusual, beautiful day doesn't always mean you're going to find anything. <clears throat> Which I'm coming up a little short today. But this looks like an interesting piece. Strange. Oh, it's probably a handle to something. Yep. I'm not sure how well that is, but it was worth taking a look. There's a few more glass pieces showing up here, but nothing phenomenal yet. I'm not sure how this one got by me when I walked down. Well, it's a twist off. It still looks interesting enough to pry out of here. I believe it's full. It's a great color. Slick. It's unembossed. There is some bubbles in the bottom. Well, that might go early, early 20s. It's a nice aqua. I'm going to clean this thing out and see how pretty it is. 
Now I did a quick wash and although a lot of that you're seeing is sand, there's also a lot of bubbles in this glass. And it's got a great color and I think I was right in the early 1900s from when they first started machine making bottles because there's some bubbles in there. I think that's the Owens Illinois mark. Not bad for the first one of the new year. Well, it looks like today the weather is trying to outdo itself. The other day it was about 55 degrees, absolutely gorgeous. We're now the 3rd of January, 2023, and the temperature is climbing. I'm sure it's about 60 degrees right now, which even with a little sweatshirt on, feels warm. It's already reminding me of the summer. This jacket might actually be too warm for me. And hard to believe, probably in about a week, I'm gonna be frozen solid here. But still looking for stuff. Hmm. Very interesting. What do you got here? A piece of a shirt. Of fabric and I'm looking for stuff falling out. Cool face. What do you see? I can't tell, but I'm on a really short side of a cliff here and I'm trying to hang on. to see if anything interesting is popping out because there's a lot of stuff popping out. That's why I'm breathing heavy holding close onto this hill. I'm not really sure what this plastic toy is. A little bit of quick cleaning, see what comes out. And some kind of fire truck. These pieces generally come out melted. And that appears to be what happened to this guy. Huh. We got two interesting pieces out of that scoop. Maybe three. So I'll get a better shot at that. Look at that action. And some kind of bottle topper. It's hard to tell what the material is. Now that would have been a pretty glass. Great color, flowers on the bottom. Well, like I said in the past, coins don't usually pop out of here, but when they do, it's a good way to date the finds. 1911 Wheat Penny. Look at this pretty old thing. I'm thinking it's some kind of brooch. Kind of pin. Hmm. Nice little key came out. I'm not going to say it's super old. Look at this piece that just popped out. What a bottle stopper. Or perfume top. I don't know what that is, but that is awesome looking.
first best find of the new year. I love finding these hobble, hobble skirts intact. This one's a little on the older side. I think I can see some bubbles in the glass. It's in Newark, New Jersey. And where's my date, where's my date? I think it's in 1948. Or 1918, I forget which one's the date, left or right. Another great find. A nice hot little spot cooking up here. Glass bottle stopper. Great color. It's a slightly newer bowl mason jar lid and glass probably 60s or 70s here's a fun little bottle I just pulled out it's a cork top but has a lot of nice embossing on it New York refilling prohibited Virginia dark maybe Garrett and Company Incorporated, established 1835. And although that's a little worn out, there's a nice little emblem there. Hmm. Be fun to look up. I am not really sure what just happened. I randomly decided because the tide is coming in and I didn't have a lot of searching ground, I randomly decided to start digging a hole. I mean, I could have dug a hole anywhere. What just popped up? Oh, it's looking, it's looking wonderful. What is this? There's no embossing. Look at the color of it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say this is really old. Holy moly. Look at the point on it. Look at the top. Oh my God. What did I just find? How old is this thing? Wow, is there more in here? Just heard something. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure what's going on here. Well, 
Now this is the bottle after I just gave it a good washing and it looks almost brand new. It's a great olive color, but watch what happens after the wash and I let this thing sit for a few minutes. This is a chemical reaction on the surface of the glass, generally with older bottles. It's called iridescence. It's very similar to the way iron rusts from exposure to minerals. An interesting piece I've never seen before. Thomas Edison Mark Type 5. Something to do with a battery. Orange, New Jersey. There is a patent date of June 17th, 1890 on it. Now, I know that doesn't mean that's how old it is, but it certainly is a cool piece and going to be fun to look up. Just an old hair barrette, maybe? Being of someone with very little hair, I am not wise to these type of finds. I think that's what it is. Well, it looks like we might have a fork coming out. Oh, yeah, look at this one end. There's the other end. Of course, it's pretty beat up, but... That's okay, because it appears to have some really cool design work on it. Let's clean you up a little bit. Let's see what story you have to tell. What's that right there? Circular, round, brass. Okay, so you were... Hmm. Some of the copper came off. It's copper plated. But there's a pretty cool design underneath, so I'm going to take you home. And Almost missed this pretty little piece. I'm going to give it an attempt at bending it back into shape. It looks like some kind of frame, some kind of buckle frame maybe. But not sure. It's going to be delicate. It never ceases to amaze me. I can take a hundred scoops one day and get nothing. Like today. The other day, every scoop had something cool in it. But I can't get discouraged because I just pulled up a really cool tiny perfume bottle. And a little brass belt loop. But that thing looks in great shape. And will go really nice with my little perfume tiny bottle collection. Well, it's getting a little bit better. Pulled out this cool little syrup bottle, I believe. This syrup bottle, pour lid. And I've got another porcelain lid. 
which has some great designs in it, but I don't like when the black gets in there. Because it wound up being very hard to clean. I'm gonna take it anyway. Nice little bit of color came out of that scoop. I got that faceted little bead. And that might have been part of a top. Well, this might interest a few people. It's an, uh, an old Yoohoo bottle. I'm saying it's old. It's probably 40s, 50s, I'm guessing. But it's in pretty decent shape. And that is a very recognizable bottle, but it's spelled with O-O, double O's on the U and the Who. Hmm. This morning's fog was a lot thicker than this. You better hope if there's a if there's a boat, it's close enough in, or you're never gonna get a picture of it today. What are you taking a picture of? You want me out of the way? Oh, you want me in it? Okay, he is taking a picture of me right now. Well, if you can make him out, he is all the way down there. And not the guy who's actually jogging my way. He's even behind that guy. And I just picked up the tiniest little signal, which unfortunately looks like it could be in a copper casing or brass, but that's a little diamond. Might be a cubic zirconia, but fun enough to bring home and test. Okay, it's done. Hold on to the bat. Carolina, get out of the way. In case you... Wow.